video game boss. Laser robot unicorn boss. Six. Oh, well, hello everybody. How you doing? I'm Dustin. This is uh, Video Game Sauce. Today I'm going to be playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's on the Super Nintendo. It's a, it's a drop-down looking arcade game. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, play, play two different characters and you run around. Run around trying to save all your neighbors. Because they're too stupid to, uh, to not get eaten by zombies. <laughs> so yeah, there's a sequel to this game. A sort of... Uh, a sequel that wasn't supposed to be a sequel, as I understand, called Ghoul, Ghoul Patrol, and I played a little bit of that yesterday, and uh, that one was uh, not a, not as quite as good as this one. It wasn't as slick. Uh, that one, I mean, it's still pretty good. I just added a few different elements. Uh, like on this game, you can... I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying not to die here, but uh, on this game, uh, you get a red potion, and you can turn into this big, uh, big purple dude and smash on walls and whatnot and I don't have a key right there so I can't get in the door but on the second one ghoul patrol uh, if you get a uh, potion you turn into the green reaper and it's really badass looking but uh, I don't know the, the second one the sequel to this uh, it plays a bit slower uh, it has a slot you can slide around I mean it has the same thing but I mean it's pretty much the same concept but uh, oh excuse me <laughs> a little burpy there Ah, a little bit more burpy. But anyway, yeah, you run around and try to save all your neighbors. And that's pretty much the gist of the whole entire game. Uh, I should have looked up. I forget how many levels there are. I, bet there, I think, if I remember right, there's like 70, 70 plus levels. It's just a massive game. But uh, the, the, the nice thing about it is that, from what I saw, the passwords are like four letters long. So, no big deal. Alright, there we go. Got a key. So I can open the door and get... A new weapon here. We got the fire extinguisher. I also have the six pack. And I'll show you what the six pack looks like. Fire extinguisher. Oop. Let's try this. Uh, there we go. There we go. So you can freeze the enemy or zombies. <laughs> freeze them, but I guess you can't smash them, so it's kind of worthless. Use a pop can or the six pack like a grenade. I don't know why I keep running around in circles. You know, I'm just going to use a squirt gun on this level because it's a lot easier to, to deal with. Oh, got to jump in the pool. If you're not quick enough, your your uh, neighbors will die. Uh, you beat the level, but you don't get a uh, bonus. So like Toad Jam and Earl, sort of, you go in the exit. Toad Jam and Earl is, uh, I realize, a phone booth, but whatever. Yeah, level complete. First level. Here comes level two for that ass. <laughs> Evening of the Undead. Oh, I almost forgot you can turn on the map, and now I can't get rid of it. There we go. I guess it's kind of useful if... Well, it's kind of worthless, because it doesn't really kill a bunch of enemies, so... Uh, as far as I know, on this first level, the squirt gun is kind of where it's at. You got enough ammo to kill uh, an entire zombie uh, mob if you, if you need to. If need be. Yeah, pick up your neighbor who's grilling and uh, be stupid, stu, stu, blah, 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 too stupid to figure out that there's, there's zombies about. A little tongue tied there, sorry guys. Grab another six pack of soda pop, I'm sure. Kind of like the uh, squirt gun. The other ones are good, but uh, they don't make it as easy. Oh, accidentally used a health back there, but whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, there are parts of the game. All right, got a key. Parts of the game you can pass right through shrubbery and things like that. I'm trying to get over there so I can rescue the cheerleader. Which I uh, missed on the first uh, I missed on the first attempt. Hooray! Thousand points. 
It's like, who la who's lying? <laughs> Alright, tells me I have four four neighbors left and I really not seeing them on the radar here, so it must be in a different part of the map, obviously. Well the thing about this game though is that the uh, the, the zombies can really creep up on you, so you have to whoa, so you kinda have to run away and then go back. Cause uh once they start running at you. Oh, there's a there's a neighbor. You have to kinda run and then turn. I have another time because I. Oh, oh never, Ah, get away from me, you fucker. Alright, got his ass. Oh, got her, but she's too stupid to run away. Hey, baby, what are you doing? There we go. Oh, there's that red potion I was talking about earlier. I'll show you what it does. You turn into a bad motherfucker. Haka! Just punch enemies right in the face. Oh. Oh, yay! Sweet. Alright. Go through the exit. From right, at, I believe the next level is uh, Hedge Maze with Chainsaw Guys. Yes, all victims saved bonus. Hooray. Terror in aisle five. Never mind. It's got to be probably level four or five. And those guys were pretty easy to pick up. The excellent thing about this game is uh, gameplay, and uh, the video game music is very fitting. It's pretty cool. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It keeps it a bit campy. Looking up the tourists there. Get away from me. Kind of sounds like that troll all all guy. Ah, shit. Ah. I don't know why I tried to open that. The door was already open. Ah, shit. I don't like these little guys. Ah! Whoa! Yeah, I forgot you can get the, uh, the shoes here. Which basically makes your character run like he's on steroids. <laughs> that is incredibly fast. Oh, that is a mannequin. I thought that was uh, a buddy of mine. Oh, baby. Baby. Ah, shit. Run away. There we go. Give him a little distraction. That's what those clowns are for. I'm turning off my radar for some reason. Ah. Ah. It's like techno music. Come on. Is this a tomato? Well, that's a bit worthless. Yeah, just squirt a little axe welding maniac baby. Why not? I can't remember if you can, uh. I don't think you can jump on this version. Oh, there we go. I'll freeze him for a little bit. trying to find a key here so I can get and save that cheerleader. Oh, popsicle sticks. Let's see what they do. Yeah, it's like a grenade. There's a mystery potion. Why don't I give it a go? Oh, it gives me speed shoes. Yeah, so when you get that, it's completely random. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> Running around like a maniac here. Yeah, but again, I, I forgot to say this is uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors is on the Super Nintendo. Very cool game. Highly, highly suggest that everybody picks it up. Especially if you're a retro gaming fan. This has uh, got to be a game that's in your collection. Uh, without looking, I, I... Oh, here's the Chainsaw Hedge, Hedge Maze Mayhem level that I was talking about earlier. It's kind of frightening, actually. I don't like it. <laughs> no! Ah, get away from him. Bastard. So this level, you're definitely gonna have to use the clowns to your uh, to your advantage. Ah, uh, there we go. Clowns kind of work; they'll get them away from you, but uh, that's about it, really. Ah, it's kind of open to see if I had a uh, 
I thought I would have a health pack, but I do not. See, against these guys, you want to use that bazooka. It doesn't kill them, but it stuns them so you can run away. Ah, shit. I thought that was a... Ah, get away from me. Aw, oh, man. That was a direct hit. What are you talking about? It's all good, though. See? Get off me, fucker. And with the bazooka, you can blow down hedges. That's pretty cool. Ah. So kind of a frightening little... Uh, the music is very fitting with the level design. I mean, considering that there are crazed X-Men or Chainsaw Men following you. Yeah, they're just trying to kill some kid, no problem. Save the baby. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> it's all good, though. Just blow, blow a hole through the hedge maze. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, there we go. Hey, baby. Mm. Yeah, so I think the only, my only other option here is to uh, use the fire extinguisher, which I'm not sure if it works against them or not. And it does. Well, that's kind of helpful. I should have saved my, uh, nice little rocket launcher thingy. Yeah, I gotta walk all the way around here to save these two. These tourists. Tourists of sorts. I got one more. Just gotta find them. Probably up, uh, probably all, all the way up here somewhere. Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Just freeze the crap out of them and run away. Oh, there we go. There's the last person. All right, barbecue man, let's go. Let's get the uh, let's get a fuck out of here. <laughs> See, I'm having a good time playing this game. This is a lot of fun. So I'll show you a bit of the next level, and then I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. And there's your password. That's what I was talking about. It's four letters. That's how every game should be. X. HRS if you want to get to level 5. This level is pretty cool because uh, it's like pod people. It's like cloned. This is definitely the uh, weapon you want to use on this map. It's like the hedge clippers. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Save a baby. Save. Try to ah, get through these clones. These pod people. Get away from me. Yeah, by default, the radar's off, so definitely a big help in this game. Oh, there's a health back. Nice. Ah. What I'm trying to do is find a key. Very much like the music on this game. Especially in this level. It's pretty cool. The one before this was really good, too. Those guys, you don't really have to worry about. You just kind of run by them. There's a key. Go back here and save the cheerleader. Open these up, see what happens. See if I get a key or anything, a potion. Nope. Not my lucky day. Oh, there's a guy. Saved his ass. Cause he's uh Yeah, he's too busy relaxing and maxing by the pool. Hey baby. What's up? Oh, save uh school teacher lady who's probably a biatch. Cause she uh was showing you an F because you're too you're dumb. I keep saying because there's something a lot. I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, can I get over here? Can I use these to cut down a I was hoping I had the rocket launcher. Oh, they are over here. Nice. Yeah, I realized I said I was going to show you a little bit of this level, and here I am playing most of it. Save a dog. Sit, boo boo, sit. Good dog. Rough. Ah, dinner plate and forks. Those are weapons as well. Not as uh, helpful as the other ones. 
Yeah, some of the controls on this game can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're new to the game. They're just basically two different sets of uh, options. One's to switch to your weapons, one's to switch to your special weapons, like the clowns and things like that. Well, guys, I, I believe I'm going to wrap up the video here. I've play, been playing for a bit. So, um, guys, please remember to comment, like, subscribe. And uh, if you do enjoy the videos, definitely, definitely keep coming back. So, guys, thanks for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Uh, extra special thanks to you guys this has been uh dustin video game sauce playing zombies eight my neighbors on the super nintendo have a good one guys see you later